Hello and welcome to U.S. History. Um, uh, this is Colonialism to Reconstruction. Uh, 2010 is your, um, is your course number. Now, um, I really want to welcome everybody to this course. My name is Sherry Kahn and I am your instructor for this semester. Um, please, the first thing that I ask you to do is to read your syllabus. That is of the utmost importance. All of the information regarding the kind of textbook you need um, to how to complete the discussion questions and essays, etc., all of that is uh, in the syllabus. Um, the syllabus uh, gives you, uh, tells you what kind of textbook you need, uh, but when you go look for your textbook, you're going to see volume one, volume two, rent it for 16 weeks or rent it for. Um, uh, I think 32 weeks or a year, you want to rent it for 16 weeks or four months or six months, whatever the shortest amount of time is. I think you only have two uh, possible choices. So you, uh, unless you're going to take um, U.S. History next semester uh, for the other half of U.S. History from Reconstruction to the Modern Era, uh, then I would just get the uh, first, uh, I guess, like I say, I think it's about 16 weeks or six months or something like that. So that's the one that you'll want to choose. Um, the, the textbooks are going to come with an access code, and that access code is going to give you access to Cengage materials, to so the publisher's a course material that um, is going to be helpful uh, for you to study with. But none of the activities are actually going to be graded towards your final grade. So if you choose to do the activities, it's really great. But if you choose not to do the activities, it's fine with me as well. That is completely up to you. You are, are only uh, going to get your grade, your final grade, from three um, in three ways. Uh, you there are discussion questions, there are writing assignments, and there are exams. And um, the writing assignments are found in dis uh, Dropbox. Um, the discussion questions are found under discussion questions, um, and your um, exams are going to come under um, assessments, I think it is, uh, in uh, Desire to Learn. And um, navigate around the course to kind of check out where everything is. Uh, course content, that is a, a tab uh, that you want to click on, and under course contact, content you will see there are three modules. Uh, there's a getting started module, which I definitely recommend you looking at. That's where I think your syllabus is going to be and various other resources and resources about how to get in touch with me as well. But that's also embedded in the, your course. Now, um, there's module one, module two, module three. Module one is uh, coordinates and it covers materials in chapter uh, in exam one, and then module two will cover material in exam two, and module three, exam three, and exam three is also your final exam, and it is not cumulative. It will only cover um, module three material, so please keep that in mind. Um, some important things uh, in the exam are all short answer and essays. Uh, your writing assignments um, are 500 word minimum essay and discussion questions are um, um, uh, roughly I'm expecting a paragraph of uh, maybe two um, and you need to respond to two of your classmates postings as well so please keep that in mind for your full grade. Now, um, it is really easy to uh, get intimidated by all the writing. That is, everybody feels that way. But um, if you copy and paste from another source and pass it off as your own, that is plagiarism. If you copy and paste and then cite it, it is still plagiarism. When you are using a resource, you have to then write it in your own words and then cite it if you're going to use a citation. So please keep that in mind. I do not know you, I don't know your writing abilities yet, but what I can tell you is this is a general education course, 
And if I start reading um, papers and essays and exams uh, like you are a professional writer, then um, I'm, my antenna are going to go up and I'm going to know something's amiss here. Uh, I've been teaching for over 20 years, so um, I kind of know what I'm doing. And um, uh, although, you know, I could be fooled and, you know, I may not catch it the first time through, but if I do catch it, and it's on a second paper or something, I will look back at the other papers that have been um, uh, submitted and or exams. And if, if, there, if I see that things have been plagiarized in the past, then I will go back and the grade will be, I will change that grade in the exam. So uh, please understand, plagiarism is not allowed. Um, you know, I would rather you make mistakes and say it in your own words than not. Uh, there, and, and do your best when it comes to writing, check your grammar, but use your own words. You spell check, read it out loud to yourself, and that's a great way to edit as well. Um, so those are the three ways now. So discussion questions. Uh, which you basically have around every week, and then you have, and they're open for about a week, maybe a little longer. You have writing assignments, and you will see the due dates of the writing assignments. The first writing assignment isn't due until next month. Um, and then uh, you have exams, and the first exam is not due until the end, towards the end of September. So please make sure that you know what those dates are. Um, that is, those three sources are how you get your final grade and that's how you earn it. Um, you know, when you write discussion questions or you write things and I don't agree with you on them or our opinions are not the same, that has no bearing on your final grade. Uh, you think like you, your voice is your own and I respect that. Um, there's, a with regards to, um, fun grades, let's see, we've got final grades that navigate around the course for a couple days, as I mentioned, and keep in mind, just so you know, I do not work in the evenings and I'm not online on the weekends. Those, that's my time. Fall break, I will be, um, I will be unplugged fall break and I'll be unplugged Thanksgiving break. So with that being said, if an exam is open and you, something happens, there's a glitch, there's a hiccup, you've got electrical storm and you don't have internet, you know, this is online class, so sometimes hiccups happen. Do not panic. Never, never, never panic in my class because there's just nothing to really panic about. I mean, there's nothing that is not, in, you know, that we can't deal with. So um, what I want you to do is just email me. Communication is key. Email me and we'll work through it. So if it's a Friday evening and you get online because you've had to work or the kids or whatever it may be, whatever you're, what's going on in your world, um, then please keep in mind that if I don't respond Friday evening at five o'clock, I will, I'll respond by Monday morning. The nor within the the like Monday through Friday, um, my turnaround time for emails is um, is around 24 hours. So uh, if for some reason it's a little bit longer, again, do not um, panic. Something may have happened in my world. My internet may be down or you know, something like that. Yeah. So, uh, please, uh, you know, flexibility in class is really key, but I'm here for you. Um, and I want to help you, um, be your best and, um, and enjoy the class. Uh, I hope that you do enjoy the class really. Um, I am, I know I'm nerdy. I'm a history professor, but, um, and I don't expect all you guys to be nerdy as me. Uh, still, um, yeah, I want you to try to remember to have fun because learning should be always fun. Um, I guess that's about it. If you have any other questions or concerns, email me. You can access uh, the, uh, in the course under course content. There's, uh, you know, co uh, contact information, get in touch with me in the syllabus on the landing page will be my email address. Um, under uh, communication tab, there will be class list and my name will be on there. So there are multiple ways for you to get in touch with me. Um, I, I, you cannot email from an outside email 
source it into desire to learn into the course so and i really prefer us keeping our our emails within the course itself because if i make a mistake you can call me out on if i if i overlook something um but that goes both ways if you need something and you've um, made a request and i've taken care of that request but you were not able to get to it uh, in a timely way then you know we can talk about it all righty all right, well, look, everybody have a, a wonderful semester and, um, and call me or, well, really email me if you need me. Okie dokie. Take care. Bye now.